Hey folks, it's Mike uh, from Graham Beach and we've had a lot of water uh, this uh, spring and summer and uh, you know, rain, that kind of thing. Um, typically, um, you know, when I walk this beach to get to the water, it's a good distance, maybe 50 meters, something like that. Yeah, it's uh, a lot closer now. A lot closer. Uh, so, so you can't even wade in, let alone swim. Uh, yeah. All right, so uh, what I'm trying at the moment is I've got my 10-stop ND filter on just so I can sort of, you know, get some smooth water. Um, and my only fear right now is just, uh, you know, getting my tripod stuck in the sand because of, you know, the water washing up and such, but yeah. Definitely some uh, gorgeous colors in the sky. Uh, these clouds are definitely helping. Uh, otherwise, it would kind of look meh without the clouds, but uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Uh, using the ND filter uh, was, uh, was doing a good job. Uh, I've taken it off because it's it's getting darker, so no use having it on now. Oh, oh, hang on, I'm getting wet, so I'll, I'll back off. Yeah, anyway, so the uh, plan was really just to uh, come here, take photos of the sunset. Um, I assume there would have been a lot more beach than there was. Um, and then uh, stay, uh, see if we can get some uh, you know, stars, Milky Way, Northern Lights, something like that. Don't know, forecast. Well, for the Northern Lights says it's going to be pretty good tonight. Uh, as for uh, the weather forecast, Chats of rain start at midnight. Yeah. Nice sunset. Man. Actually, while I'm at it, um, I should probably try and uh, adjust the focus uh, to infinity-ish, um, now that it's still white, because it's going to be a pain in the butt when it's dark. So, wish me luck! So, yeah, northern lights out there. Uh, crap, and it's still like, sort of... It's over here now. Holy crap. I'll be able to see it, but I don't know the lights out there. These northern lights are just dancing right now. This is the best I've ever seen, well, not ever seen, but it's the best I've seen in a very long time. Woo. 
This is just, I, I can't explain it. I mean, it's like the, almost the entire sky is lit up. I mean, I, I'd take a video of it, but I mean, it won't come out anywhere near as spectacular as what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to be funny right now. Um, I mean, I've got waves crashing from, uh, you know, Lake Winnipeg. And I've got the, the northern lights going essentially from the uh, east side to, oh, about the mid-north side. It's, uh, <sighs> holy crap. That's all I could say. Okay, so it's about quarter to midnight right now. The uh, spectacular show we've been having for, I don't know, almost the last hour? Starting to wane. It's it's getting dimmer for now. Um, but, I mean, with the northern lights, they can come back again strong. Just a matter of when. Um, yeah, but yeah. Whether or not we'll stay, don't know. But, I mean... I've got a lot of good photos right now, and I'm very happy. Um, like, I was disappointed at the, when I first started shooting about an hour or so ago, because I wasn't in focus. I thought I was, but I wasn't. So, yeah. This has been a good night. Anyway, it's uh, it's Mike in the future. Uh, it's mid-November. Uh, long past uh, July when we were at Grand Beach. Um, again, I'll say it was a magical night at Grand Beach with uh, the northern lights stretching all the way from the east to the west, right across the sky, really high up in the sky as well. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just magical. Whew. Um, aside from that wonderful night in late July at Grand Beach, um, I did get to experience uh, one other day, well, evening on both ends really, uh, of just spectacular uh, Northern Light show. Um, took place uh, early September just before my birthday. Uh, so I'll take some, you know, any, any birthday gifts now, you know, belatedly. I'm okay with that. But uh, my wife and I went out to a spot uh, just off Highway 59 and Highway 44. Um, got there just after midnight. And the show was just, again, just like July, where it was all over the sky. Like anywhere you turn looking east to west, um, you know, in the northerly direction, it was awesome. It was absolutely awesome, and I'll show, of course, some photos from that night, including uh, a shot or two from uh, from my cell phone, where I just you know put my phone on top of my car and just let it take a long exposure. Um, and then a few you know few short hours of sleep before I had to work, but then later um, in the evening, um, same day, um, wife and I went out to meet some friends at uh, Winnipeg Beach to. Uh, uh, taking in a uh, a, uh, a concert uh, from a, an ACDC cover band, and uh, it's a great concert. Uh, and then uh, right towards the end, there during their encore, Northern Lights appeared right over uh, the uh, the bandstand there, which was awesome. Again, I'll show some photos uh, from that as well. Just wow! And honestly, we're now in Aurora season. You know, it's November. You know, it gets dark earlier and that kind of thing. So yeah, hopefully I can cap capture some more Northern Lights this winter. Yeah. Well, that was uh, an awesome night. Um, 
I mean, I was expecting the uh, nice sunset, you know, with the, some of the, the clouds there giving it some nice color. Um, I knew the uh, the northern northern lights were going to come out strong, but I mean, the weather forecast was saying that there was going to be clouds and it was going to start raining. Um, uh, well, I mean, the clouds started coming in, but yeah, the northern lights just it's a good show. Uh, that's what all, all all that I can say anyway. Um, it was good for probably about an hour. Um, not much else I can really say. Uh, at this point, um, I got nothing. Um, so, ciao, folks, and you know, do the usual: like, comment, subscribe.